to you. Well, I know when I first started out, and and it was a sixty-hour class back then. Mm. It wasn't one hundred and twenties. It was cool. it was sixty hours to take the same certification exam, mm. and I the light bulb went off. I mean, my background's in case management, so I understood kind of the long-term situation, but I had a lot of questions about the figuring out the cost, things like that, and I still remember um, another girlfriend went with me. We went to California and sat for seven days. It was 60 hours, but we sat seven days in a classroom, mm -hmm. and so you did everything within that seven days, and then you went back, and then you took the exam, so it was crammed in, mm -hmm. and I remember asking questions and asking questions and was told the second day before we went in there, please don't ask any more questions. And I and I thought down. I was dis disturbing and interrupting and, and I said, I'm so sorry I'm disturbing or interrupting the class and she says, No, I just don't have the answers. Oh wow. So then you you learn this specialty practice, but you have questions, so who do you ask? And so that's when I got involved in AANLCP, the association, and started asking questions. Answers that weren't always there, and so I thought, I'm gonna make it my mission to learn more about the industry. I didn't intend to be an expert witness. Like, back then, life care planning, nurse life care planning, was nurse life care planning, and oh, by the way, you might go into deposition or trial where now it's different, where you enter in with the expectation that you mm -hmm. will be that expert witness. So it was, there was no preparation on the testimony side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was just, oh, well, you know, don't worry about it. it. If it happens, it happens. It'll rarely ever happen. Well, it started happening and I felt very unprepared in that deposition mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. by, by the grace of God, I didn't get disqualified, but I did get chewed up and spit out several times in deposition and did not like the way it felt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't want to keep doing this because it, it, it does something to your personality, to your mm -hmm. complex when you mm -hmm. keep on get, being beaten down. You don't understand why, but then you don't know how to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I was like, I'm either going to leave this industry and go get a day job or I'm going to figure it out. And so I figured it out, and that was my mission, is if I figure this out, my goal is to share. Mm -hmm.